introduce yourself, name, age, where you play. Okay. Hi, my name is Sophia Dawson. I play at A5 Volleyball Club in Atlanta, Georgia. I am a 6'2 setter. I live with both my parents in Decatur. Um, I love how much they support me. They come out to almost every game that they can. My dad has driven, flown, and sometimes biked to every practice and tournament that I've had. Um, Wait, he's, he's biked to, tur to tournaments. I have pictures of my, that my friends have sent me of him biking to my tournaments. We're a super active family. We really always love we go sailing as a family. We like being out on the water. Any summer Saturday that I'm not playing volleyball or at a camp or anyone's at work, we're usually out at the lake because that's just where my parents love to be. Um, they met in Jacksonville, um, and that is where I'm committed to play volleyball. I'm committed to the University of North Florida to play volleyball. Uh, that's in Jacksonville, Florida, and it's kind of a full circle moment. My parents were married there, lived there, and my mom's side of the family is still there. Um, I'm pretty sure that my sister is going to move down there as well, and so will my parents. So it's really going to be great to have my family around me because they are truly my biggest supporters. Um, in everything that I do, and it'll be great to have them with me in college. Um, I started playing volleyball in fifth grade. I started playing at my school, St. Thomas More. We just had a little fifth grade team, and just right from that get-go, I knew that like this is the place that I wanted to be. I talked with my parents, and they were like, you can either play golf, tennis, or volleyball. What do you want to do? So we enrolled in Tsunami Volleyball for my 12s year, and I had the most amazing coach that I have had and probably will ever have, Ted Russell. He really made me fall in love with the sport. He made me a setter, and that has just obviously carried me throughout my entire career. So I played 12 as a tsunami, and I really loved my team there. I still hang out with some of my teammates from that. Shout out Maeve. <laughs> um, and then I played 14s. Then I went to Rio and played there for a year. And then I came to A5 when I was 15. And I had the privilege on being on Coach Victor's team. Um, and I have just created so many great bonds with these girls. Um, I would not trade my my progression throughout the years for anything. Like the, everything, every coach that I've had, every teammate that I've had, every club that I've been at has really developed me to, for the player that I am and I'm truly so thankful for them. Um, I say one of my hobbies is cleaning. That's, so that's weird. People look at me weirdly every time I say that, but I love like just cleaning. Like if I get stressed out, if I come home from like a long tournament or something and I'm like oh man like I could just rearrange my closet right now I love cleaning <laughs> like that is something I love to do I also love to cross train so occasionally my dad and I will go out and hit golf balls or I try and convince them to go out and play tennis sometimes or I just really like hanging out with friends a lot of my friends that I have I don't really need a social battery for we could just be together and that's all that we need and so that's really something that I love doing is just being with my friends and hanging out I also love shopping <laughs> Let me drink my body armor. It's not sponsored yet. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about being a setter? The hardest thing about being a setter is keeping your mental composure. You, it's all a mental game. For a setter, you have to know what hitters are on. You have to know what passers are on. Like you, you just have to know everything. You have to read the other side, and you also have to keep your emotions in check. I think that's probably the hardest thing is keeping your own emotions in check. A lot of emotions arise during volleyball, but you know you just have to keep yourself calm and lead the team. I mean, you might not have that captain role, you know, that name, that title, but you have that leadership position as a setter. It automatically comes with it. I'd say I'm pretty, I'm pretty passionate. I think I've peed my pants on occasion or two. <laughs> um, I get really excited. I'm, you know, as a setter, like, that's your job. You got to get excited. You got to get pumped up for your hitters. And I mean, there's nothing 
like there's a no, no better feeling than setting up your middle and having them put it into that deep corner or setting up your right side and having them hit the 10 foot line. Like I truly love celebrating my teammates and I think that's probably my favorite part of the game. I think that what makes me unique is definitely my passion for the game and the passion and the love that I have for my teammates. Um, I also, I put a lot of work outside the gym. Um, I think younger girls, I wish someone had told me that when I was younger. Like you can't just show up to practice and think that you're going to get better. You have to put in the work outside of the gym and show up for your team. So I think that's something that makes me unique is I learned that at a young age. My dad really helped me figure that out. He was like, you really need to get better individually so that you can go into your team practices and support your teammates better. What are some pressures that you face as an athlete, as a female athlete? Pressures of not being strong enough. Do you ever feel like you have to like look a certain way? Yeah, that's, that's definitely a big thing. I think as females you're like oh man like I can't look bloated in my jersey like I'm gonna look so terrible in pictures or like I have to put makeup on for this game like there are gonna be other people there there are gonna be pictures being taken it's more of a pressure than it is a mindset I feel like it's like you're getting this outside pressure to do this and you're not being like oh I'm doing this for myself I feel like we all we have this pressure to do it for outside sources or for other people. Oh, definitely those two pressures of how you look when you're playing or practicing or and then like what you look like your body does. Like do you have too much muscle? Are your legs too big? Are your arms too big? Are your hands too muscular? Um, those are all definitely pressures that we face. What do you want to accomplish in the next five years? I want to win a conference championship with my collegiate team and I want to go into the NCAA tournament and go as far as I can. Um, I also want to be more of an advocate for younger girls, and I want to talk about the recruiting process more. <laughs> um, I mean, my mom and I are thinking about writing a book that's going to be called Don't Get Excited, <laughs> and it's going to be about the recruiting process because the recruiting process has been terrible. <laughs> like, I mean, nobody talks about this side of volleyball, but you know, all these little girls that I see and that I, I've talked to, they're like, oh, I want to play volleyball in college. That's my goal. And I'm like, well, once you get to the recruiting process, you question if you ever want to play in college because it's just so hard. I really want to become an advocate for like, you can get through that. It's, it's not, you know, the world doesn't end when you're 17. <laughs> my go-to ice cream flavor, uh, I'm going to have to go with chocolate chip cookie dough every time. I really wish I could get to Dairy Queen for a free ice cream cone right now. That sounds so good because today is free ice cream cone day. Um, no, but cookies and cream. And if they have cotton candy explosion, that's my go-to then. <laughs> um, if your life had a theme song, what would it be? It's a good question. I, I want to I say it's like, a pitch perfect riff off because there are so many different things that happen. <laughs> Shout outs. Shout outs. Grindheart Fitness. <laughs> yes. Where are we now? Shout out to Grindheart Fitness for letting us um, film in this amazing, amazing gym. Thank you, Brandon and CJ, for all the hard work that you have put into me over the past two and three years. It has really paid off, and I am so thankful to y'all. Thank you to my parents for everything that y'all have done for me, driving, flying, biking to practices and tournaments. Um, and thank you to my teammates for really being supportive. I, I love y'all a lot, and I don't know where I, wouldn't, where I would be without y'all.